Hello there all my lovely jewelry makers, I'm Christina of CSL Designs and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these cute wire work bows that can be used both for ear cuffs and rings with just a slight variation in the technique. Now if you like my tutorials and you want to support me in any way you can always visit my shop where I sell jewelry kits and tutorials and there's also a super thanks button below the video but if you want to learn how you can make these cute bows for yourself then keep watching. So these are the materials that we'll need. Now the wire I'm using is a regular round rose gold coated copper wire and the first gauge is a 1mm and this will be our base wire. Now if you want to make a ring you can use a weaving wire to finish off the ring band with and this is a 0.3mm. You could also use a 0.4mm, that's personal preference. But of course you could also leave it out completely. And then we also just need a few tools. So first of all we need some flush cutters because of course we need to be able to cut our wire. I've got some tweezers and those pliers to help manipulate the wire. And six step bell making pliers to help make the loops and curves in the exact sizes that we need. Of course you can also use a pair of round nose pliers for this if you don't have the six step bell making pliers. Another tool I just recommend having is something like a wire rounder tool. It is going to finish off the ends of your wire nicely. Or if you don't have that you could equally use some jewelry files, whatever you have handy. Now we'll also need a ring mandrel or whatever else you have handy that you can shape the ring band around. So don't forget you can check out the description box below the video for any useful links, otherwise let's get our wire and tools ready and let's get started. Now to start out with we're going to make our ear cuff and for this we need a length of a 1mm of about 20cm. So to start I'm then going to get my 6 step bell making pliers out and for the bow itself I'm going to be using the second smallest step on there. Of course like I said if you want the bow to be bigger you can always use a larger step. Then I'm going to bring in my length of wire and just roughly find where the midpoint is and then go a little bit to the side of that and then I'm just going to bring the one end all the way around the pliers and then have it come underneath the other end so we basically create a bit of a teardrop shape there then I'm going to flip it around place my pliers on the other end here again just a little bit away from the middle which is now where they're crossing over and then bring that end around my pliers Make sure again to come underneath the other lengths, bring it all the way so it basically goes in the exact same direction as the other one and they just lay up right next to each other and we've now again created a little teardrop shape on this side. So this is going to actually be the part that's going to be the bow itself. Then what we need to do is move on and make the part that's going to be the ear cuff so of course we can wear it and for that I'm just going to be using the fourth smallest or third largest step on my pliers and I'm going to place them just one side at a time just up against the curve we already made just as far as it'll go but on the other length that's coming out to the side and just start to bend the wire around and as I'm getting there I'm then just going to start to roll the wire further down again make sure the end goes underneath and then I'm just making sure the pliers are kind of going just in underneath the first teardrop shape we made so we basically made a larger teardrop shape underneath the small one that we made originally and we just need to repeat the same on the other end. So place your pliers up against the initial teardrop shape. Start pushing the wire all the way around. Make sure it goes underneath everything else. And as we're making our way to creating that teardrop shape, we just want to start rolling the pliers in and getting the teardrop shape just the right size we want. And again, the length of wire comes out to the opposite side of the other end there. And then you can see on both sides, we basically have two layers of teardrop shapes, one smaller and one larger. So the smaller ones on the front are what's gonna be the bow, and the larger ones at the back are what's gonna be the ear cuff part. So I'm then grabbing my tweezer nose pliers here because we need to start making some bends. And what we wanna do is just grab onto one of the lengths of wire here on the back that are going right next to each other and I'm just going to grab onto the wire right in the middle there where basically everything overlaps and then it's going towards the top in this case and I want to then bend it to the opposite side so here it's going downwards so basically it comes straight down from the middle and as you can see something like that then we need to use this length to bring around the middle and kind of have the part that holds the bow together so you can keep hold of it any way you want to but then start to push this up from the bottom to come over the front of everything in the middle there and then down behind on the back again bring it all the way around and then make sure that this end ends up coming to the other side than the other end does because these two, if you bring that in are going to then end up being the ends of what you could say the ribbon that creates the bow. Now if you need to tighten anything up of course you can just do that. And then I'm going to bring my six step bell making pliers back in and this again I'm going to use that third largest or fourth smallest, the one that we use to make the large teardrop shapes with as well. 
and we basically want to grab onto those large tetra shapes, the ones at the back, because like I said, those are going to be the ear cuff, but we just need to shape them so obviously they can actually go around your ear and catch on. So just grab right in the outer edge of that teardrop shape and hold on to everything and then start to roll your pliers in and basically end up with something like that. You can see we kind of get that hook shape and we just want to flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. So just grab onto the very outer edge of the teardrop shape, roll it in and we get the same on the other side. And that is going to be what's going to grab onto your ears. So of course you can just make it as tight as you need to just to have the perfect fit. And then I just like to do the last touches on the bottom part here. Basically what's going to be the end of the bow. And I'm just going to take my tweezer nose and to put a bit of life into it. I'm just going to start from the very point where they're coming from. So in the middle there. Bend the wire slightly. I'm going towards the middle. Then move just a little bit further out about the width of my pliers. Obviously you can adjust it to whatever you want and then bend it in the opposite direction, so outwards. Move a bit further out, bend it back in, a bit further out, bend it back out. And you can see we're creating this kind of wavy effect. That's just going to give a bit of life to the ends of the bow. And move a bit further out and bend it back in. Of course you can make these however long you want to. I'm probably going to stop there, but then just do the same thing with the other side. So bend it inwards, move a bit out, bend it back out, and I'm almost doing 90 degree bends. Bend it back in and bend it back out. And the final one to match the other side, to bend it back in. And this is then what it looks like. Of course we have this excess wire that I'm then going to go in and cut off. Now I'm just going to cut it a little bit past where that last bend is, just to give it a nice finish as if that's the end of the ribbon you could say. Basically cut it where we would make the next bend if we were continuing. And there we go. And of course you can adjust anything how you want to, just to make it exactly how you want it to look. Now this is basically the finished bow. What I personally just like to do is because we have these sharp wire ends, this is where I would use something like my wire rounder tool and just literally go in and smooth off the ends because that's what that tool does. It takes the sharpness away so it shouldn't catch or scratch on your skin or clothes or anything. So just do that on both sides or of course equally if you don't have that but you have some files you can just go in and file down the end there to get rid of the sharpness. But once you've done that, you then have your cute wire work ear cuff ready to wear. Now, if you wanna make a ring, I'm just gonna use a slightly longer length as we also need it for the ring band. And this is about 25 centimeters long. And of the weaving wire, we need two lengths of about one meter each. Now to make the ring, we start out in the same way. So find about the midpoint of the wire and then go a little bit to one side. And then we just wanna make our initial teardrop shapes first of all. So these are the smaller ones. And again, make sure to get your wire underneath and then do the same on the other side. Bring the wire around the pliers so they come straight out on opposite directions there. So now we have the two small teardrop shapes in place. Then we need to make the larger ones just like we did with the ear cuff. But the difference is these need to be longer basically because obviously the circumference of your finger is larger than what we need for the ear cuff. So I'm still gonna take my pliers and it's the same basic principle. We just want to make sure we go further out of the wire there. And then I also like to just measure. So in total, I'm going to have the full length of the two larger teardrop shapes be about five to five and a half centimeters. So that means one of them will be about half of that. So I can just measure from the midpoint there to be able to see where I basically need to place my pliers. So it's somewhere around there. And then I'm just going to bring the wire around just like we did before. But as you can see, it's just much further out and you can just maneuver your wire however you need to. Bring it back into the middle there and cross behind the other wires. And then it just sticks out nicely, which is then gonna be one half of the ring band. We just wanna flip it around and of course do the same on the other side. So again, I'm just gonna take my ruler and just measure from that midpoint to where I need to place my pliers on this side. And otherwise, do the same thing. Bring the wire around 
underneath everything else. So again, they go right next to each other in opposite directions there, behind everything else. Now you then want to finish off the rest of the bow in the same way that I showed you in the ear cuff part, by bending one of the lengths of wires and then bringing it around the middle to fasten everything in place. And then finish off the ends by adding some bends to them to give some life. Now you can easily just leave the ring band like this, so not weave, so it gets left open here. And of course you just want to shape it like I'm going to show you in a bit. Or you can weave these sections, which is what I'm just going to show you how to do. So you want to grab your weaving wire and just on one side at a time, we're going to start from the middle there. You just want to place the end behind your wires and then start to do the figure of eight weave. So bring it down through the large teardrop shape and then push it all the way down. Come through again in the same direction. And I'm just wrapping around the bottom part of the teardrop shape right now. Push that down. Now what I'm going to do is bring it up behind and then come around the top side of the teardrop shape but still go down through push that down and then repeat, bring it all the way through and push that down. And then basically we just want to swap from side to side, wrapping once, push it down and twice, push that down. So that was around the bottom side of the two dot shape and then bring it up behind the top part and repeat. So wrap around once, push it down, Come around again, bring it through, and push that down. And then you're going to have your weave growing just on this back large teardrop shape. And you want to do that all the way till you get to the end. And then once you're at the other end here, we run out of space to do any more weaving back and forth. So we just want to wrap the wire around the base wire from the one side where we've ended up to basically cover the base wire so it all looks nice and seamless. And once we've reached the other end there, we've filled it in completely. Just bring the wire around as if you were doing another wrap and then cut off the excess, get rid of that. And then just make sure to push down that very end and kind of roll it so the end gets tucked in between the other wires. And then you finish that off nicely. Of course, we want to grab the other length of our 0.3 mil and flip it around. And you just want to do the exact same thing on the other side as well. Once you've then gotten rid of all the excess lengths of wire, all we need to do is bring in the ring mandrel and just shape these teardrop shapes that we weaved. So we can, of course, use it as a ring band. So just place it on top of it, and then I'm just holding it down with my thumb, and then I'm just gonna gently bend those weave teardrop shapes around the sides, on both sides there, so they start to meet up on the back. And you can see that's what's gonna be the adjustable part. And then just make sure it's sitting on the front how you want it to. And then it's finished and ready to wear. And because obviously it's adjustable, it'll fit many sizes, but you can still make the lengths of those large teardrop shapes shorter or longer if you do want to fit a smaller or larger size. But then you have your cute bow on the front with a nicely weaved ring band. Of course, like I said, you can also leave it unwoven and then you just have an open one, but otherwise it's the same principle. And you can always play around with the colors of your wire as well. So for instance, the base wire could be one color and then the weaving wire could be a different color. That would make the bow itself on the front here stand out more, but obviously that's completely up to you. So that is how you make these cute, quick and easy wire work bows that can be used both for ear cuffs and rings with the same basic technique, just a slight variation. And just to let you know if you like bows, what I've done is created a playlist with all the tutorials for my bow designs. That way they'll be easy to find. I'll of course leave a link to that in the description box down below and I'll keep adding to it in the future when I come up with new bow designs. Otherwise I really hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.